A reading from St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 5. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, An eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, Do not resist an evil doer. But if anyone strikes you on the right cheek, turn the other also. And if anyone wants to sue you and take your coat, give your cloak as well. And if anyone forces you to go one mile, go also the second mile. Give to everyone who begs from you, and do not refuse anyone who wants to borrow from you. More than ever, we hear the word justice so often these days. Voices for justice resonate in our society louder than ever. But this is very surprising when we realize the Western societies have developed extremely complex and sophisticated legal processes to protect justice. Law is a profession so highly specialized for different fields. Not only lawyers, but many professions are directly involved in our legal system. So we call this a, a justice system. But interestingly, this name, justice system, implies it is not simple and easy to protect justice. Although we have a vast array of laws in our society, so many people are not happy with our justice system. An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. This ancient law may sound primitive, and unsophisticated. But often I feel that our justice system and our legal professionals fail to provide and protect justice as much as this primitive rule may have done. Everyone demands justice, but no one is satisfied. I wonder if a man can ever be a perfect judge to himself, not to mention to other people. Until I become a perfectly just judge to myself, I won't be able to provide or protect justice for others. But unfortunately, I always find myself making decisions favorable to myself. It feels fairer to follow the ancient law of retaliation than to follow all kinds of my rationalizations and arguments. Today Jesus tells us to exercise charity instead of demanding justice. I will not discuss here if this new law of charity is superior to the old law of justice, but I find this I can exercise this new law of charity without a sophisticated system or a complex argument or an expensive professional consultation. No matter how much it is given, charity always satisfies people. Charity always works. Nobody refuses free bees. In contrast, no matter how much we try, we never fully satisfy anyone with justice. Do you know why? I believe it's because love and charity are always divine, but human justice not always. In other words, 
the power of God always works, but not all human efforts work. I might have to pay thousands of dollars to an attorney to get my justice only to a limited degree. But even a small child can exercise love and charity that can move and change adults. I think Jesus gave this law of charity because it is indeed more practical. My entire assets won't be enough to get me justice, but my five-dollar bill would be sufficient to ease the hunger of a person in need.